so welcome to the third video uh, of our frequently asked questions about christenings. And remember the key part of this is talk to us, that's the main thing, and we'll explore and talk some more with you. This third one, what do I have to promise at a christening? Well, at a baptism, christening, uh, the parents and godparents are invited to make some promises. Uh, and that's because the child is too small to answer for themselves. So this is the third video. In the first video, I began to answer some of the frequently asked questions, such as, can I get my child christened? And uh, then the second, I talked a bit about, well, what happens at a baptism anyway? So hello there. I'm Reverend James Hollingsworth. I'm the Vicar of St. Leonard's and St. Luke's here in Seaford. Um, so what do I have to promise at a christening? It might be that actually you are the one who is thinking about getting baptised for yourself. Jesus and faith have become important to you. And so uh, you're right. This will be a good next step for you. Well, the vows are the same. With a child, basically, you and the godparents are promising to help your child grow up and come to know Jesus for themselves. To know the love that God has for you, for your child that God is watching over you and giving a purpose to you and your child in becoming part of God's family, the church. You don't need to be especially religious uh, or whatever. Uh, you do need to be up for exploring who Jesus is and how Jesus wants to bless you and your child. So the vows you are uh, uh, about to take are about helping your child to come to church, to live Christian values such as forgiving people, helping people, and that involves learning to worship, to pray, to read the Bible. As parents and godparents, we try to model uh, that, so we include our children on our pilgrimage, so to speak. Perhaps they might make this their own faith pilgrimage in time. So the vows that we actually say are about turning away from sin, rejecting evil, turning to Jesus Christ as Saviour, trusting in him as Lord. In return, God offers to be with us throughout our lives. When we mess up, when life is difficult and dark, when life is good, and the church promises to be there for you too, to pray for you, to help you with the vows, because we're part of God's family too, and we're called to love one another. I won't have answered all your questions, so maybe the next step is to email myself or Stefan or Derek and say, can I have a chat about a christening? See you soon and may you know God's peace today.